Welcome to Division Analysis, I'm Fog. First up, my apologies, I said that this was going to be my assault rifle comparison video. But before we get to that, I need people to be on the same page. And the only way that I think I can do that is to put to rest some of the things that I've seen in comments and I've seen on YouTube and put those to bed finally with some mathematical certainty and some scientific fact. Strap in. Okay, let me start off by just clearing up some confusion in regards to the old metrics of burst DPS and sustained DPS and the new metrics that I'm now using. Okay, so the old burst DPS was essentially a one magazine max damage divided by the time that it took to fire that magazine. It never included the reload, it was always just that very first magazine and then it was divided down into a per second damage. So for the mass it looked like this, over so 3.33 seconds, the time it took to fire the 50 rounds. For an ACR, slightly less damage per second, in fact about 15% less damage. And as I showed in my uh, DPS Lies video, you can't use burst DBS to make a comparison because you haven't controlled either the amount of damage to be done or the amount of time over which to do it. As you can see here, although the max damage from an ACR is 15% less per second than what the FAMAS can do, it can maintain that max damage for a longer period. So in that same video, I set the damage as a named elite. It happened to fall outside of a FAMAS's max damage capacity in one magazine and what that meant was that the ACR in fact was able to burst down that enemy quicker and technically it had a higher burst DPS and that's under the old metric. For comparison's sake it's a terrible metric to use. The old metric of sustained DPS actually suffers from a similar story in that it is the time that it takes to fire all of the rounds, the damage that's done over that, and then divided by the time and the reload time. But it does this whether it's over one cycle or whether it's over an infinite number of, number of cycles. So it breaks it down into a per second format where it includes the reload and averaged out over every single second. But in reality, the damage stops at some point. So if the damage is set at this yellow bar, the old sustained DPS calculation would include the average over the rest of that cycle, including the reload associated with that cycle as well. When in fact, there was only two reloads, not three. Okay, I want everybody to take a deep breath. Uh, nothing that you've heard so far has been new news. But based on some of the comments that I have been hearing and some of the stuff that I've seen on YouTube lately, this will blow your mind. This is actually what DPS looks like. This is an indisputable fact. When you graph DPS for the FAMAS versus the ACR, this is what it looks like. This is what the old burst DPS calculation will tell you that the FAMAS does. This is what the old burst DPS calculation will tell you the ACR does. This is the old sustained DPS calculation. And this is the old sustained ACR calculation. I get why we did it, why we wanted constants, because it seemed easy, but they are fucking 
horrible. This is how often the burst DPS calculation is correct. This is how often it's wrong. This is how often the sustained DPS calculation is wrong. The sustained DPS calculation is only right at these very minute, finite points in time until those rises and falls get smaller and smaller and smaller as you approach infinity until those become non-existent and they become a flat line. Now in my DPS Lies video I showed you a FAMAS versus an ACR comparison and what I did there was I set the damage to be done as this and many people were either confused or they made complaints about how you cannot claim that the ACR has a higher DPS than the FAMAS. Well, I'm telling you, it's a fact. There it is. The ACR has a higher DPS at that point in time than the FAMAS. It's just a fact. The ACR did not return to a higher DPS until it had finished killing that enemy and had moved on to the next enemy. At this point. Now here's something else that is going to blow your mind even further. I could have put that amount of damage to be done here, but I also could have set it at here or here and the ACR still would have won because at these points in time the ACR has a higher damage per second. It has put out more damage at this point in time than what the FAMAS has. It's a fact. I understand that we wanted constants and it was easy because you look at this graph and you're like oh my god how the hell is anybody supposed to calculate a comparison based on these well you will be pleasantly surprised that it is actually significantly easier than you think it's literally a time to kill dps all we do is we define the amount of damage that needs to be done. Then, average bullet damage times mag capacity. Most people would know that as total mag damage. And that gives us the number of magazines to complete that damage. You can do it as bullets if you like, but magazines I find much easier. Then, you take that same amount of damage that needs to be done and you divide it by the amount of time to fire those magazines and the amount of time to load those magazines. That's it. It's that simple. So for the FAMAS, let's set it at 50 million. So we're saying, we're saying we want 50 millions worth of damage. The FAMAS at a average bullet damage on my test build of 276,629 times 50 bullets means that its mag damage is 13,831,450 which means that it takes 3.615 magazines for the FAMAS to do 50 million damage. For the ACR it is a base or an average bullet damage of 332,549 and it is a total mag damage of 16 million 627,450, which means that it takes 3.007 magazines for the ACR to do 50 million damage. Now, the 50 million is then divided by the time it takes to fire those magazines. For the FAMAS, it was 3.615 magazines times 3.33 seconds to fire it, plus the three reloads which totals 18.638 seconds, means that its DPS over the entire time to do that 50 million damage, it averaged 2.68 million per second. 
The ACR, 50 million, 3.007 mags, 4.615 seconds to fire them, and three reloads of 2.3 seconds, totals 20.77 seconds, and you can see that the ACR took longer to kill that 50 million, and its DPS over the time was 2.407318. If we go back to the chart, you can see here, after 3.07, magazines just outside of 21 seconds the ACR over that entire period had done about 2.4 million and after the 18.6 seconds that it took the FAMAS it was doing over almost 2.7 million. Now I stress it is incredibly important for comparisons that you define the amount of damage to be done. Let's do the same equation, but this time we're going to ask the weapons to do just 49 million instead of 50 million. So now the ACR only needs 2.947 magazines to do that damage times the 4.615 and now it only has two reloads it now takes 18.2 seconds to do that and averages 2.692 million over the time the FAMAS to do 49 million drops from 3.615 mags down to 3.543 and it now its time to kill is 18.39 seconds for a lower DPS if we go back to the chart, you can see here the ACR actually had a quicker time to kill and over that time had a higher DPS. Defining that damage is incredibly important and that's why I did every mission three times over so that I could make sure that I was getting the average. Okay, so we know that DPS is fluid. There isn't different types of DPS, it is just damage over time. And if we get rid of the old notions, they may have seemed easy and they may have seemed right at the time, but they are almost never correct. But once we define the damage, we have a method in which we can actually say with mathematical certainty in that fluid system at that point in time this is the best weapon for, to deliver that damage. I needed to get those things off my chest I needed to put this to bed and hopefully this video has done that because I want to get on with the job there is a lot of work to do a lot of content to produce and uh, I promise you, the next video will be the Assault Rifle video. I'm in the final stages of editing, and I'll probably be able to release that in the next couple of days. If you like the video, like it. If you want to see future content, subscribe and write a comment. Um, and I will do my utmost to respond. I'll see you in the next one. Fog out.